What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's interesting because there was an update yesterday. Now I didn't get to play with stocks that much, but today I'm going to be kind of going in depth on how to use the stock market as well as what stocks are. But before we do that, let's, let's just take a quick look at something I do not like about this update. First things first, I can buy only 10 stacks of every single item per day. Day. that is terrible like what who thought this was a good idea it's quite unfortunate really but i mean what can you do this does get rid of all the macro errors out there <clears throat> me i'm just kidding that that was a long phase i have hopefully tried to redeem myself and uh you know i'll gain back everyone's trust again <laughs> no but seriously all the people who macroed this and made tons of money are no longer able to do that so I guess they have to go back to basics of farming. Anyways, that's just one thing I don't really like about the update, but it's also interesting because it's gonna change Skyblock as a whole. Anyways, let's get down to business. This is bizarre. This guy, he is the stock market NPC. Basically, if we right click him, it's kind of like the auction house. You know, you got some other categories for some, you know, interesting things. This one, on the other hand, the oddities page is the one that most people will be going to, primarily because there are summoning eyes and people can instantly buy summoning eyes for this price and overall just kind of save a lot of time. But let me warn you now this is a very complex system. So if you don't really know what you're doing, I do don't recommend using this because you can lose a lot of money. <clears throat> Pick a cool 80 mil. So just be really careful when you're doing stuff on here because sometimes you will just end up in terrible luck. I will try my best to explain how to use this, but uh, bear with me. And if I get anything wrong, just correct me in the comments and I'll heart it. And I'll make sure people know the real truth. Let's first talk about the stock of stonks. Now, this is just one of the stock items and it is a very risky thing to do at the moment. If we read it, it is a test item for the bazaar and it's available from Warren for a limited time. They already disabled that like 10 minutes after the update i was lucky enough to get 10 stacks of them i got that unfortunately though my island member did sell it when it was not even high enough because no one knows how to use stocks on this server anyways this is something that just basically was very very cheap at the beginning and now has risen however there is a warning it's a risky investment because it is a test item and may get deleted so people who have spent over 200 million on these stocks well, they could be in terrible luck when this thing inevitably gets deleted. I don't even know. But basically, that's what it is, and here's how you use them. So just like stocks, everything has a price, and sometimes that price increases and decreases. There are buy orders and there are sell offers. You can do either one of these two if you want to get or sell your stocks. There is, however, a buy instantly and a sell instantly. Now, this is one of the things I'm not too aware about. But basically, you can buy it instantly. I think there is a little bit of a tax though. So if you just make a buy order, I think you'll probably get more in the turn. Um, however, you do want to be the top order because everything that is handed to the top order right now, which is 19,000, is going to go directly to them. If you make a higher buy order, then you'll be first in line to take the items. So that's kind of what the buy order is. And you can also make a sell offer, which is kind of the same thing for a buy order, except you're selling it this time. Typically for this one, it is the lowest price gets filled first. And that is kind of, you know, how to do it. Basically, this is just another way to cash out, I would imagine. Now, if you click create a buy order, you can choose how many stacks you want and you can just make a custom order. I'm just gonna do a stack right now just to demonstrate, but there is same as top order top order plus 0.1 and then 5% of spread. Now, I'm not going to talk about 5% of spread mainly because I don't really get it myself. So if someone could let me know in the comments, that'd be great. Okay, so if you buy this top order, basically what it's doing is putting you first in line to receive items. So when you want to buy like a stack, your name is already up there first. Therefore, you will get your items first. And this same as top order one is also kind of the same thing. However, is instead of putting you first, you're basically tied with the first person. So I think you'll be the second person in line. So after the first one is up, you'll be next. And then finally, we do have custom price. This is just very simple. You can choose the price of how much you want to pay per stack of stocks. But honestly, you'll probably be using top order or same as top order the most. And honestly, that is basically how you use stocks. Just be careful with it because you don't want to lose money. And like I said, prices decrease and increase all the time. If I just hover over this right now, the buy price is 21000 and the sell price is 
or 8,000 and you can just see it just changed. That is why it's so risky because sometimes the market crashes and the price of stocks can just plummet by at least 50%. Yesterday when I was playing, the top it reached was I think 28,000. And if you think about it, stocks at first, they sold 640, you could buy 10 stacks of them. Each one of these papers costs 200 and now they are selling for 20,000 coins each. Don't get it yet? Well, let me put it in smaller words. Basically, when the update first started, they sold these stock of stocks. Each one was 200 coins, and you could buy 10 stacks for approximately 128,000 coins. Now, if I were to save those stocks and deposit them right now, I would make 12 million coins, and that is about a $12 million profit. So you can see that this could work out in your favor, but you just be really smart with it and you could definitely make some money. But this isn't the only thing that is stocks. Everything else here is also used for stocks. So you just look at everything here and there. See if you can buy stuff off uh, other people in the auction house. And see if you can make some money off this. Because you probably could. I'd also like to give some notable mentions to things that are basically extremely overpriced right now. And that is because you can't buy from the merchant anymore. So if you want to make some money, here are some things you can do. First thing you could do is put down a lot of gold minions. Because a stack of enchanted gold sells for about... 2800 coins per unit so times that by 64 and that's how much a stack is so roughly around 160,000 per stack of enchanted gold so you can make a lot of money with that anyways i think that wraps up the bazaar quite well i did stumble through a lot of my things but i hope i made sense in the long run because that is kind of the point of this if you guys have any more questions about the bazaar be sure to leave it in the comments too because i will just go back and answer every single question because i know this is a very confusing process but don't you worry soon you will get it if you don't already it is very simple just mess with it here and there don't spend too much because that will be a rip also do not pull a me and accidentally buy nine enchanted blaze rods when you only meant to buy one because then you'll be five mil in debt Anyways, that basically wraps up this video. Like I said, if you have any questions, be sure to comment them and I will try and get back to them as soon as I can. I do, however, want to show off something because I kind of want to get back into Dragon. Yesterday during the stock market, people were so worried about trying to make money with those stocks that the actual auction house crashed. Now, I somehow managed to get a full dub of summoning eyes for 500k each. Now, if we go over to this auction master, and we look up summoning eyes the prices have raised and i have saved a bunch of money god bless this update i just saved so much now we also did have a greater backpack of summoning eyes so that would be a total of 72 summoning eyes that i bought for 500k each now if we use the prices today i basically saved three mil but hey that is a lot especially when buying summoning eyes I'm still pretty happy with it, and the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because I want your guys' opinion. Do you guys want to see me do dragons again? Please let me know because I'm not really good at them, but I want to learn how to do them so I can actually make more videos and do live streams. But there's always a problem. I'm always getting out damage, and I don't know how. I'm combat 40 with fully maxed Midas, Dragon Hunter 5, everything I could have possibly need, and I still can't get top damage. Don't, I don't understand. So I will try my best to practice these dragons for you guys because I want to get some awesome content. So there is just a teaser for what I have to show for my next videos. Anyways, without further ado, it is time to end the video. If you guys liked it, be sure to drop a like and I will see you all soon. Peace out, everyone.